What's up YouTube, Kenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here and today's video is the grand finale of my trip to the Sammy Miller Motorcycle Museum. And this here is what I consider the crown jewel, but I'll just let the young Master Grayson tell you. This is a Vincent Black Knight. He only made like a hundred of these. Yes, this is the Vincent Black Knight. And fun fact, between the Black Knight and its variant, the Black Prince, only 200 were made. So, Batman Forever could well be accurate when it says, I thought they made like 100 of these. Just something I thought you might find interesting. Enjoy the rest of the video. a motorcycle, that little grey vehicle should be familiar to anyone who was around in the 1980s because it is the Sinclair C5 battery electric one person recumbent bike. And believe me, that's a mouthful. And in this second clip we have a variety of engines and parts including some cutaway engines. Now I am sure you are all aware that the purpose of a cutaway engine is to demonstrate how an engine works. But I also think they would make great decor for a man cave or workshop because of their sheer ability to be a conversation starter. So honestly guys, if I had a man cave or workshop myself, I would want a cutaway engine and an unrestored fuel tank as part of the decor. Look guys, I know I've said this before but it bears repeating. This is a truly beautiful collection of motorcycles. And if you are able to, you owe it to yourself to come and visit the Sammy Miller Motorcycle Museum in person. However, I am not an idiot. I am fully aware that not everybody has the ability to come to this museum in person, which is why I have done this series of videos to show the collection, to show the quality of what is on display here. And my primary concern isn't gaining or losing subscribers when it comes to this series of videos. My primary concern is doing this collection of motorcycles justice and hopefully I have done that because my biggest worry is that I have not done them justice. Anyway, let me know what you think guys and enjoy the rest of the video.
I know I haven't done much in terms of voiceovers when it comes to this series of videos, but to be honest with you, I really don't think extensive voiceovers are necessary when background music, even royalty free background music like I use, can do just as good a job of providing character and atmosphere to a video as a voiceover can. So that's why I have been using a lot of background music in these videos. This of course is the grand finale of my visit to the Sammy Miller Motorcycle Museum and honestly it's been a hell of a ride, pun intended. Anyway, I thought I'd get my thoughts out there in regards to voiceovers and background music and hopefully guys you enjoy the rest of this video and have a nice day. This brings us to the end of my visit to the Sammy Miller Motorcycle Museum and thus the end of this series of videos. Hopefully you enjoyed watching them 
as much as I enjoyed making them for you. And as usual, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share. And remember, 